Hi everyone, Jennifer here. I'm doing this video at the very last possible moment. I wasn't going to actually do a video for this week, um, but then I, I had a few things to say so I decided to get out the camera. I've just basically been keeping myself very busy working on this new book. The good news is that it's going along swimmingly and pretty much all of the book is new material, stuff that you have never seen on the blog before. So that's going to be fantastic when it finally does come out um, next year, hopefully. But, you know, I'm so busy working on it that I've fallen behind with the videos and everything. But I did just want to do this video to connect with you and say hello. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm using a new camera. And this camera is a bit more high-tech than the one that I was using on my computer, so we're upgrading a little bit now <laughs> on this channel. The past few weeks have been really good. I recently gave a talk at Harvey Mudd College to their young entrepreneurs there about what it means to be an artistic entrepreneur. And I feel really strongly about this because I think that there's a lot of artists out there, you know, whether you're writers, painters, singers, poets, sculptors, filmmakers, um, who feel that they need to be discovered before they make a living doing their art. And I actually know from personal experience that it doesn't have to be that way. And I like to empower people to take control of their own careers. So, for example, with me, I had written my books and I couldn't find representation. Um, so I decided to self-publish my book. And because I was able to market it through this YouTube channel and the blog, um, it ended up selling really well, and now I'm working in a wonderful, harmonious partnership with Simon & Schuster, which is the type of thing that I wanted all along. So I guess the moral of the story here is, if you are an artist, you don't have to wait around for other people to do your art. You can do it. You can get it out there. Be really creative about it. You know, some singers sing their songs on YouTube, and that's how they reach people. Um, some authors tweet their stories on Twitter. There's so many creative, wonderful things that you can do to get your art out there. You can do it, and I'm here to tell you that from personal experience. I also wanted to thank all of you for your participation in the Four Agreements Book Club. Um, I had so much fun doing the videos and then reading your comments afterward. I read every single one of them, and I appreciate them. It's so nice for us to just be able to talk about these things that people don't normally talk about. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I just ran to go get this book, which I'm about to talk about next. Yes, back to the four agreements. They really do help you with like these minor everyday problems that just sort of nag at us. And I just finished another book that has completely blown me off my feet. I mean, this book is, like, so amazing. <laughs> it will change your life. I actually find that it helps with some of the practical aspects that you learn in the Four Agreements. Because a lot of the time people were saying, well, okay, it's great to not take things personally, but how do I do that? So. I must recommend to you this book called The Untethered Soul. The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. You must read this book. It is like, ah, I can't even, I'm so excited about it. It's really a wonderful book. And um, we're going to do a book club on this. Probably not for a few months, probably in the new year. So I wanted to tell you right now so that you had a few months to check it out, buy it, read it. Um, this book is just completely life-changing. It's one of those amazing books. Right along with mine, of course. No, seriously. Please read The Untethered Soul. It will help you with your neurotic mind, any sort of neuroses that you have, any problems you have, daily things like that. And it's really influencing me right now. So, there you are. The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. So I guess for a non-video, this turned out to be pretty substantial. 
I hope you like the new camera, the new setup, and um, actually I want to talk about signature scent. So I'm going to shoot that video after this and that will be next week's post. So <laughs> there you go. Alright, thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon. Thank you.